What up? We're gonna ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy GS and today we are introducing the uh, new legends that will be dropping tomorrow. Really excited about one, not really excited about the other. Um, new legends for Madden NFL Ultimate Team. Uh, during the playoff seasons, our legend program turns to recognize amazing performances in the playoffs. The Madden Ultimate Team Legend program commemorates the outstanding careers of some of the NFL greatest athletes. I read this every week, don't I? Each Saturday, you can find five collectible items. Uh, you guys know the drill. So we will be getting a 98 Vince Wilfork and a 97 DeBrick and Shaw Ferguson. And if you guys know your boy GS, you guys know I love me a Vince Wilfork. Love me a Vince Wilfork. He always plays the screens well. Then he's just a big anchor. You know, I don't need a D tackle to be, you know, really fast. I don't need them to be, you know, really agile and have a lot of finesse and you know, um, you know, because I don't know any A gaps, so um, they're not, you know, I don't need speed. I just need an anchor. I need a big, beefy bastard to sit on that D tackle position and just stop runs going up the middle, block shed, you know, um, let my linebackers worry about the outside, let my D tackles really help with anything going up towards the middle. And Vince Wilfork has always been amazing at that. Um, even when I had, I still have his 93 overall card, his um, limited edition uh, BCA card. I still have that bastard. Uh, matter of fact, I have my Xbox line. Let me take a look and see uh, how he was doing. This card had 99 strength, had 95. But actually, we'll do a comparison when we take a look at his stats. Um, so you scroll down. Here it is, 98 events. Wolford, and of course, he's probably going to be in packs because. The Brickishaw Ferguson, um, I don't know. Nah, I took a quick gander at him before I uh, turned on the recorder to uh, get the video. <coughs> nah. um, Vince Wilfork, 2011 NFL playoffs. Wilfork had one of his best postseasons, totaling 11 tackles, 8 QB hits, 4 tackles for loss, and 3 sacks. Um, 71 speed, 99 strength, 97 tackle. 65 finesse move, 99 play rec, 99 block shed, 90 pursuit, 95 power move. So his BCA card has 68 speed, so it's uh, plus three speed, um, the same amount of strength. Um, he has plus seven power move, plus four pursuit, plus one play rec. His play rec is just always amazing. Like he always, even though he's slow, well, this card is pretty fast. You know, even though his BCA card was pretty fast too. Um, you know, you expect him to have like Gilbert Brown speed. 70 speed is pretty good. Um, he has 65 finesse move, which is plus 20. Plus 20 finesse move, man. So, you know, he's obviously going to have that strength to bull rush you with the 95 power move. That 65 finesse move may be a little glitchy, adding that with that big bull rush that he has. Um, you know, again, not really looking for him to, you know, get off the, the tackles and Go on in and get me some sacks. Um, I mean, it helps, you know, even though he's slow, but he can definitely push momentum outside of the pocket. You know, if he can get off a block during a pass and just uh, get your quarterback to move outside the pocket anywhere, then that obviously helps because we all know how block shedding is in Madden. Whenever you decide to go towards the outside, then that's when your uh, DNs who are magically locked decide to break free and chase after the QB. So, and I'm rhyming accidentally. So, I'm really excited about this card. This card, I want to really say that. Um, now, since that, um, the Brickishaw, I mean, um, excuse me, since that Will Fork is a 98, he will be replacing either Mean Joe Green <coughs> or Indomitian Sue. So, it really has to be which one do I think will be better paired up with Vince Wilfork. And I'm probably going to go with uh, Indomitian Sue. Because Indomitian Sue has, you know, uh, nine. Indomitian Sue just plays amazing for me. So does Mean Joe Green. Don't get me wrong. Mean Joe Green is an animal. But Indomitian Sue plays just a little bit better for me. But uh, this is the Brickenshaw Ferguson. Once When I did a quick comparison to uh, Munoz, because I looked, and I'm like, okay, is he the highest overall at the position? And he's not. He's tied. But, you know, I don't care if he's tied. If he's the better player, excuse me, I'm going to go on ahead and get him. Uh, the Brickishaw Ferguson has 93 strength. Munoz has 97. Um, the Brickishaw Ferguson has 71 agility, 
and Munoz has uh, 68. He has 95 run block. Munoz has 95 run block. Ferguson has 92. Um, Munoz has 99 pass block. Brickashaw has 98. Um, Munoz is only two less speed. Um, only one less impact block. So, I mean, to me, <coughs> the better card is Munoz. You know, he has plus three run block. He has plus one pass block. He has plus four strength. He has uh, only minus one impact block. You know, um, speed really isn't really uh, needed at your tackles. You know, you really want your guards to be fast because, you know, whenever you're pulling... Um, you know, you want your guards to uh, be fast because those are your pulls. You know, if you're doing any type of tosses, any type of HB base or any type of um, strong power or um, what's that, that goofy ass play that was overpowered when the game first came out in Madden 25 Carolina playbook. The, um, the um, It had the read option with it too. Buck sweep. Yeah, the buck sweep, you know, your guards pull. So, you know, I mean, it's nice if your tackle is fast. If they get a big block, they can run upfield and get to the second level. But um, in my opinion, Munoz is just better. You know, not overwhelmingly better, but slightly better. You know, I'd much rather have the plus, you know, three run block, the plus one pass block, the minus one impact block, and, you know, plus four strength. That's just my opinion. But uh, Brickishaw Ferguson is coming out tomorrow. 2010 NFL playoffs uh, protect the Mark Sanchez blindside and just playoff run. That took out both the Patriots and the Colts. <coughs> so, these are the two new legends that are coming out tomorrow. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. I will be getting uh, Vince Wilfork. Of course, I'm, I'm praying to the Madden gods that Vince Wilfork is the set. Because we all know the set players are extremely cheap. You know, Vince, I mean, uh, excuse me, Lamar Woodley was only 400k after an hour. You know, because of the legend packs that came out so um um just really want <laughs> I, I text my fiance you know i love you right because she texts me uh because i'm just waking up not too long ago i streamed until like two in the morning yesterday i was like really tired i streamed like almost 10 hours and um so i went to sleep late and i woke up at six we woke up uh helped my son finish off the rest a little bit of rest of his homework um, dropped him off at school. I came back and went straight to sleep. And I woke up to a ray of text. She's like, wake your ass up, man. I'm trying to see you today. What's up? And um, <laughs> she uh, texted me that she's on her way to the supermarket to get some uh, corned beef so she can make uh, my favorite dish, which is white rice and corned beef. So I told her, you know, I love you, right? She said, yes, my love. What did you do? <laughs> I'm like, damn, I didn't do nothing. You just can't tell somebody you love them without thinking I done did something? <laughs> but anyways, man, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Vince Wolfer, oh, you coming home, you big, beautiful, sweaty bastard. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think. I know you Patriots fans should be happy. Um, as well as you Jet fans. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go on ahead and be signing out. Peace.